Ashley Bernard, better known as Kunk, was one of 11 casualties of Operation Restore Confidence. The controversial killings resulted in the EU and the US applying pressure on the previous and current governments to complete investigations into the alleged extrajudicial killings by members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Investigations continue today as more officers were arrested and brought in for questioning. In a way, I find that very, that take a little too long, very much too long. I mean, six years already. Yeah, six years. I mean, then Fenners was killed for absolutely nothing. Nobody never told them why. After they like to know, nobody came forward and tell me why he was killed. So I have no reason why they kill him for any reason or anything that. So up to now, we have no closure on these things. So if they now they take theft and whatnot, if I find it's a little too late, but in a way, it's still good. Meanwhile, a concerned citizen believes it is about time that the families of the victims get closure. He says that restrictions placed on the police are also due for removal. As we all know, this is something that has been hanging over the police force for quite some time. And there is no doubt about it, they are good cops and they are bad cops. They are rotten cops in, in the police force. And, you know, whoever is culpable, whoever is guilty, I mean, they have to face the penalty. The families have been calling for justice for quite a long time now. I know there have been um, human rights advocates as well calling for justice for a long time now. So, you know, better late than never. I think it's a good thing and, and it shows transparency. And I must commend the DPP office from the time he's been sitting there, Mr. Green. I think he's doing a wonderful job. Operation Restore Confidence was in response to an unmatched wave of homicides and violent crimes which occurred in St. Lucia between 2008 and 2010. For the DBS Newsworld, I am Sheffield Gillard.